Good morning. My name is Susanna Ko, and I am the wife of Pastor Raymond Ko, who was adopted in February 2017. I want to thank Commissioner James Carr for adopting Pastor Raymond as a prisoner of conscience. Pastor Raymond is an ordained minister of the Evangelical Free Church of Malaysia. He pastored a church for 15 years. In 2004, he retired and started a non-profit called Hope Community. Hope Community works amongst the poor, the needy and the marginalized. He started shelter homes for HIV AIDS, a reading room for students and also help single mothers and refugees in providing training for them such as baking, cooking and jewelry making. Pastor Raymond is a simple and kind man. He has a passion for the loss, especially the unriched peoples of Malaysia. He loves to tell Bible stories to whoever that is willing to listen, irrespective of race and religion. And I suspect that because of his social work, he has been uh, suspected of uh, proselyting Muslims to Christianity. On February 13, 2017, Pastor Raymond was suddenly and violently adopted by 15 men, seven vehicles, in what looked like a very well executed military style operation lasting only 40 seconds. We lodged a complaint to the Human Rights Commission of Malaysia and they held a public inquiry lasting more than a year. Their conclusion was that Pastor Raymond was a victim of enforced disappearance and that state agents, namely the Malaysian police, were involved. We have tried to appeal to the former Prime Minister Tun Dr Mahathir and personally met him to resolve this case. We have also met the current Prime Minister, Tansri Muhyiddin, and he promised to get to the bottom of this. However, we have not seen any result. Neither did we get any update or news from the police Therefore, the family last year filed a civil suit against the police and the government. And now we are appealing to the international community to help us pressure the government to resolve these cases of enforced disappearance. My prayer is that Pastor Raymond, Ami Chekmat, a Shia Muslim, Pastor Joshua Helmi, and Ruth Sitipu, who were similarly disappeared, will be released as they did not do anything that deserves death or jail. Their personal liberties have been violated as enshrined in our federal constitution.
that is the right to belief, right to movement, and right to counsel. I hope that you, we can get help to advocate for this case and that justice and truth will prevail. Thank you and God bless you.